Hello everyone, so it's back to school season and I know most of us aren't actually going back to school but in the spirit of the season, today I'm bringing you guys six lazy but still cute hairstyles that are super quick and easy and you can accomplish any of these in five minutes or less. I'm also going to be sharing some really quick tips with you guys to help elevate your hairstyles so you can create a really cute and special look. And I'm also hosting a giveaway today with YesStyle and we are going to be giving away these adorable hair accessories. So just watch until the end of the video to see how you could enter for a chance to win. And also one last quick announcement. Thank you so much to everyone who has joined my Patreon so far. Thank you so much for watching me grow on a new platform. I am so honored to be teaching on there and I will just leave the information on the screen really quick. And with that out of the way, let's get started on this video. So really quickly, I just wanted to share how I prepped my hair for this video. I just quickly curled in the ends of my hair. I just put on some hair oil and then I am brushing it out. So this is the watermelon oil infused brush from Wet Brush. It has a combination of their super soft, flexible bristles and some boar bristles at the same time. And it makes my hair so much softer and just very, very healthy. All right, so with that out of the way, let's start with our first hairstyle. And first, I'm taking about a one inch section from the top of my head and I'm creating little rope twists. With each twist, I'm adding a bit of hair from the front and then I'm twisting again until I reach the top of my ear. Towards the end, I started adding some hair towards the back too just to make my little twist a little fuller. Then I'm lightly pinching on each side of the twist just to give it volume and to make it look nice and a little bit messy. Then I'm just temporarily clipping this to the back of my head and we'll get back to that later. But until then, I am repeating this process on the other side. And doing these little rope twists has been actually a favorite way of wearing my hair recently because it is so quick to do and it is so effortless. You don't really need bobby pins, you don't need to braid anything. It's just a really great lazy day hairstyle. So from the back, we have our two rope twists and I'm just going to join them at the back and secure it with an elastic. Then you kind of just want to fluff and twist until you're happy with how it looks. Then I'm decorating with a couple of gold and pearl hair clips just to complete the look. And that is it for this first hairstyle. It's super quick and super simple and it still looks so put together. Then for my next hairstyle, it's a variation of the first, but it's a different way and it's a way to change it up. So I'm splitting my hair directly down the center and then I am gathering all of my hair into a twist. So starting out with a small section from the top, I am twisting and then adding more hair from both the back and the front and twisting again until I reach to the bottom of my hair. Then again, I'm pinching lightly on the sides to give it more volume and to give it this sort of lived in messy effect. Again, I'm twisting this out of the way and pinning it into the back to get it out of the way for now. And then I'm repeating the process on the other side. Then from the back with our two even rope twists, I'm joining them in the back for a low ponytail. And then I'm just securing it with an elastic. Then with a butterfly shaped claw clip, I am securing this to the back to complete this look. From the front, this is my favorite tip actually to elevate any sort of hairstyle that you have, whether you're wearing your hair straight or curly, I think this is a really great thing to do. So I'm just lightly pulling out some strands from the top of my ear. And with this super sweet transition, I'm just curling these pieces very, very gently, just so that it looks a little bit more romantic and that you put in more effort in your hair today. Just with a little bit of hairspray on my hands, I'm twisting this around to give it more definition so that it's actually going to last throughout the day. And that is it for this hairstyle. I especially love this butterfly claw clip. I've been seeing these acrylic claw clips trend recently on social media, like on Instagram, and I love this dreamy, nostalgic retro vibe that it gives off. They're acrylic, but they come in so many different colors and shapes. And recently, I think I'm kind of going through like a butterfly phase. So anything butterfly shaped just really captures my heart and it just looks so whimsical at the same time. Then moving into our third hairstyle, this is my favorite hairstyle in this entire video. It is so sweet and cottage core. I think you guys are really gonna love this one. So I'm starting off again with a very small rope twist. Same deal as the first hairstyle. You guys know how this goes, except this time I'm only twisting until the top of my ear, fluffing it out, and then clipping it back above my ear with another smaller acrylic butterfly clip. 
And this is such a cute little step to add to literally any hairstyle, even if you wanted to wear the rest of your hair just straight down or with a little wave or with some curls. I think this is another really quick tip to just make your hairstyle a little bit cuter. I'm going to split my hair straight down the center and I'm going to be doing a regular three strand braid. And then I'm just lightly pinching on each side of the braid and fluffing it out for a very, very soft cottage core look. Then at the end, this is another tip that I've been really loving to do recently. I am taking an elastic and I'm folding up the last three inches or so of my hair up to create a little bundle, I guess. And then I'm repeating on the other side. The reason why I've been liking to finish off my ponytails and my braids with this little bundle recently is because I feel like it's a very unique and quick way to finish off a hairstyle look rather than leaving your dry ends just sort of like hanging and dangling out. I think it makes it look so much cuter and it's just another tip to change up a hairstyle look and to make it look a little bit more special. So that is it for this super simple hairstyle. Again, this is my favorite hairstyle in the entire video. With these little like curly pieces on the side, they kind of like blend into these fluffy braids and it creates such a romantic look. By taking small simple elements and putting them together, you create such a cute and unique hairstyle and that is what I'm here for. That is the point of this video and anyone can achieve this hairstyle. It's just so quick and simple. So the last three hairstyles are going to be slight variations of each other. So I'm going to start with one base. First off, I'm going to be French braiding a one inch section from the top of my hair until the back of my ear and then I'm braiding all the way down. And the trick with this one is that you want to French braid towards the back of your head. You want it to be lying flat against the side of your head as much as possible. Again, I'm also pinching lightly on each side of the braids and fluffing it out and then tying it off with an elastic. And then I'm going to repeat on the other side. And of course, just keep checking in a mirror to make sure that your braids are equal in thickness and also in fluffiness when you're pulling out your strands on the side. So when I put both of these braids to the back, you can see how they lie flat against my head. And that is what we're going for. So from the back with my two equal braids, I'm going to be folding them in half and lying them parallel against my head. And you want to tuck each end under the opposite braid. And you want a bobby pin at the fold of the braid because that's the part that's going to be hidden by the second braid. And then with my second braid, I'm again folding this in half and I'm lying this parallel to my first braid. And I am again tucking the end into our first braid and then I'm bobby pinning this in place. It seems a little bit complicated. It definitely took me a couple tries to get this right. But with a little bit of practice, this is a very, very quick hairstyle to do. Then this is another really quick tip that I have been obsessed with. So taking any sort of embellished headband, you can actually wear it on the back of your head instead. So I'm inserting this mini pearled headband in between my braids in the back. And like, isn't it amazing how much you transform a look just by doing this little step? And I feel like it's just a really great way to get more versatility out of your hair accessories. And it's actually very comfortable and you don't see the headband peeking from the front either. And I definitely should have added more bobby pins along the top and the bottom of the braids because they were kind of puffing out from the back of my head so I didn't to save some time and I kind of regret it I definitely should have but if you guys are wearing this hairstyle you definitely should add bobby pins along the top and the bottom of the braids just to give it more security all right so keeping our flat braids from the sides from earlier I'm taking the rest of my hair from the back and I'm doing another French braid until I reach the nape of my neck then I'm just going to be fluffing out this braid by pulling on the sides as usual and then I'm securing this off with an elastic. Taking my side braids, I'm joining this at the back for a low ponytail and then I'm clipping it with another acrylic butterfly except this one is in a pearly luminescent white which I am so obsessed with. I just really really love these hair clips. I'm releasing my smaller side braids at the bottom and then I'm just going to finish off with a regular three strand braid with the rest of my hair. Then at the bottom again I am just tying off the last three inches of my hair into a little bundle and I always secure with a double elastic just to make sure that it doesn't slip through and then with one final pearly butterfly clip I'm clipping this at the bottom to hide the elastic and that is it for this hairstyle this one is another favorite it's kind of messy kind of lived in but at the same time it's so unique I feel like you can achieve so many different types of hairstyles with just three strong braids you just have to be a little creative with accessorizing and the little details 
All right, so for our last hairstyle, again, I have my side braids, and then I'm doing another French braid in the back, except this time I'm going to braid all the way until the bottom. And then I'm taking that back braid and I'm twisting it into a small bun. With these types of twisted buns, it's actually really easy to keep them securely in place. You just want to insert one bobby pin in each four directions on the sides and on the top and bottom and it will not go anywhere. Then taking my side braids, I'm taking one of them and I'm first looping it from the bottom up around the braid and I'm tucking the end under itself to hide it as I bobby pin it in place. And then taking our second braid, I'm looping this one from the top down the bottom and then again I'm tucking the end underneath the braid and bobby pinning that in place. And then to go with the asymmetric look of this hairstyle, I am clipping one large barrette in the back except at an angle. And that is it for our final hairstyle. So I do want to say that although in theory I really like this hairstyle, I have to say it's definitely not for me. I have way too much hair and my hair is way too long so this entire situation just ended up looking very bulky and it was very heavy but I would definitely say that this is for shorter haired people out there so maybe with shoulder length hair I think that it would look absolutely perfect on you. So that is it for this hairstyle compilation and the great thing about these hairstyles is that some of them are just like slight variations of each other but they still create completely different looks and I think it's just great to have these simple hairstyles in your arsenal. So thank you for making it to the end of this video. Let's get on with the giveaway. So I partnered up with YesStyle who has been my go-to source for all of my cute accessories and I picked some of my top favorite accessories from this year to give away to three lucky winners, not just one. So three winners will be receiving everything that you see here. So to enter this giveaway, it's extremely simple. Just go to my Instagram at Princess May, find this post. Be sure to be following both me at Princess May and YesStyle at YesStyle on Instagram. Make sure to like this post and to also leave a comment. And the question that I have for you guys today is, now that summer is coming to an end, what was your favorite memory? So the giveaway will be live for one week and I will be selecting three random winners through the comment section and then I will be announcing the winners on my Instagram story. So be sure to keep your eyes peeled. So again, thank you so much as always for watching. Good luck with the giveaway and I will see you guys again next week.